Jane Doe. I try and look at the world the way she might have seen it. Do you recognize these women? These women were murdered. What's so great about all these characters is we reveal more as each episode comes, but we learn why she's so obsessive about get restoring the dignity and naming victims who are cold cases. Um, it's from her own backstory of trauma in her family. And so I don't want to give too much away. Sure. But I just love Rael, who's the show creator. Her, or the way she draws characters is we think Harper's one thing on the surface, this hermit, telemarketer, uh, slovenly. And she may be a little of those things, but she's all heart and passion and obsession. And um, she'd probably make a really great detective, but she doesn't, to quote Rael, doesn't play well with others. When I took this meeting, I was like, you mean the two years of my obsessive crime watching has prepared me for this <laughs> obsessive crime uh, solver person? Um, but yeah, I'm really, I think, I think like a lot of people, I'm fascinated by what people can survive uh, and also can't survive uh, mysteries around uh, unsolved things and of course uh, detective work and then she you what's the official title of your character I'm forensic. A forensic technician yes yeah and what they do yeah I, I, I don't know I, I love true crime I think it's fascinating because I cannot relate to someone doing such an unthinkable act and I think like those shows just like, are so intriguing to me. It's hard not to get sucked in. It's interesting how many women identify with the true crime genre. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't. I wonder why. There are that often is. a lot of female victims. I think. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, and and we uh, there's an unsafety that you feel just like walking on a dark street. So there's a bit that's of like true. you constantly are thinking about it a little. So I, I think that's kind that's of probably true. why. Mm -hmm. I've read sometimes that women watch those shows too, or SVU or whatever, to sort of think about like what would I do? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? To like prepare themselves. Yeah. Why well, love I love yeah. survival stories and how people escaped mm -hmm. uh, uh, horrific crimes. So that's that's always the positive. But with this TV, uh, this show, TV show, do we call them TV? Are we on TV <laughs> anymore? Um, on the Facebook Watch show that we're doing, the what's so exciting is the way these are characters. These are people we've not. I don't think we've really seen in this genre. This show is different from others because it's not just a true crime. There's like a musical element, mm -hmm. like yeah. it's fantastical. It, it peels back layers every single episode. You always wonder, that was a seed that was planted, but why? Nobody knows anything about them. If nobody's looking for you, <gasps> it's easy to be forgotten. So like there's this group of fans and sort of like their passion for the first season of the show has played into sort of how the second season was created. Mm -hmm. Are you guys ready for that, the fandom, to like no. be super into? No, never. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I heard that they, they played into some of the decision the making uh -huh. with, with like, you know, the color of her prom dress, Elsie's prom dress and, and you know, little, El like I think in naming maybe your character or, or one of the characters, but yeah, yeah there, was, there was some stuff with that, which I think is kind of amazing. You never get that. And you know? they, they had a hand in where the story takes place. So I think Rael in the community at, like asked a question, where would you want this to be take place? And they picked Cora uh, Colorado. So mm -hmm. that'll be neat to see what, what decisions were made by the community that are interwoven in the mm -hmm. series. Do you guys have like a favorite like eerie tale? My, yeah, I go, the first one I'm thinking of, or things that always scare you, sorry. Oh, I oh. went right to Pinocchio. Oh. I, I don't know. <laughs> I was going to the, all the documentaries I've watched yeah. about true crimes, like, ooh, this one, this, That's no, really I don't know. Scary. Pinocchio's scary, yeah. Pinocchio, scary. when I was a little kid, <laughs> no, 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 there's a really scary part of Pinocchio. First of all, when the little <laughs> wolves trick them to be bad, and then they go to this amusement park, and then they're turned into slaves, all mm -hmm. by their bad, their, like, vices. I don't know, this hit me so deeply as a little kid because they were like just wanting to skip school and have fun. And then they went off on a ship never to be heard from again. Okay, <laughs> the end. <laughs> Pinocchio. It was terrible. It was scary. And yours is real. Yours is real. Yeah, I, I go back to Dear Zachary. Have you ever seen oh, that? Yeah. No. Don't watch it. It's <laughs> it's the most. I watched it twice, which is just masochistic. It's like, like a very. AV it's Club people like, are obsessed with it. The yeah. worst thing you've ever seen. Jane Doe.
What were you doing out here? Are you guys on Facebook? I have oh, yeah. a man, you mm. are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, how do you use it? Like, do you keep up with your it's high like, school graduating class? You know what I mean? Like, It's kind of an address book for me. Mm-hmm. Like, if I, if I lose touch with people, it's just an easy way to find old friends, you know, from, from childhood for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't typically, like go on it unless I'm stalking people <laughs> uh, <I> know, so <laughs> you know cute. that's like how you're like it. unless I'm stalk. I mean I'm stalking people that's funny <laughs> um I'm an Instagram person and yeah. everything filters out through that but I do have a music page or Juliet mm-hmm. Lewis blah 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 something page on there <laughs> um and I'll be definitely more on it when this uh, show comes out why are you doing all this? Because everybody deserves to have the dignity of a name. They deserve to matter to somebody. Something wicked this way comes. 